With today's digital cameras that is capable in shooting up to 8K resolution, we hear that there is almost too much detail in today's footage. We are buying vintage lenses and promised filters to get that old and characteristic look. A look that we saw back in the days before digital cameras. The days when movies was shot on film stock. Being able to shoot digital has made it easier for everyone to make their own movies. Because that's one of the advantages of shooting digital. It's cheaper than shooting on film. With the digital, you only need a camera, lens, memory card, and hopefully a microphone to get the audio to sound good. And the key difference between shooting on film and shooting digital is memory cards. With one memory card and a hard drive, you're able to shoot for a long time. Heck, you can shoot forever as long as you have the storage space. It's a one-time investment. So is there any advantages with shooting on film? Quentin Tarantino, the famous director that made movies like Inglorious Bastards, Django Unchained and Pulp Fiction, says that digital film is the death of cinema. As far as I'm concerned, uh, digital productions is the death of cinema as I know it. When a movie is shot on film, it has a specific look that you don't get from movies that's shot digital. But what if you could get both the advantages from shooting digital and also get the advantage of shooting on film? This is where Dehancer can give you the best of both worlds. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin for your editing software. And you can get Dehancer for the biggest NLEs out there. Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and now you can also get it for Final Cut Pro. Dehancer contains film stock profiles and it's basically like applying a lot to your footage but where each profile is based on actual real-world film stock that is designed to turn your crisp digital footage into film by mimicking the look and characteristic of that film stock, as if you actually were shooting on film. But Dehancer is just not slapping a lot onto your footage. It's so much more. In addition to film and print profiles, with Dehancer you can also color correct and color grade your footage by selectively changing highlights, shadows, mid-tones, exposure, temperature, and tint levels. With Dehancer, you can also apply bloom, film grain, and halation to your footage. What's special with Dehancer is that you can change levels and intensity on each of these effects. And these three effects and the detailed tweaking options you have to get just that specific look you're after is what's most impressive with Dehancer in my opinion. With Dehancer you also get log to Rec. 709 conversions and Dehancer has built-in profiles from many camera manufacturers to get a great looking starting point before you want to add the extra effects that Dehancer has to offer. I was given a four week trial of Dehancer for Final Cut Pro to try out and then make a video about it. And the people at Dehancer, they were very clear that they didn't want any say in what kind of video that I made. And I was given free reigns to say whatever I wanted about the plugin. So the opinions in this video is totally my own. And as a special treat for you watching, if you decide to try out Dehancer after watching this video, Dehancer will give you 10% off the price if you follow the link down below in the description and type in this code at checkout. So after using Dehancer for some weeks now, I definitely see a use for it in my workflow. Not just to get that old film look out of every footage that I put into it, but I can also use Dehancer in general color grading. 